know me, then you know that I am the world's biggest fan of the Rusty's Racing Center trainees. You guys know that I just can't get enough of these guys and the fact that Mattel won't stop releasing them and make several a year. Now this year we only have two new ones, Jay and Ernesto. And let me tell you, I am utterly disappointed that we only had two new Rusty's Racing Center trainees. We should be getting like at least eight a year. Come on, Mattel. And you definitely haven't been making enough cars with blue accents. Like seriously, make more with blue on them. Look, obviously I'm kidding. This guy's just another Rusty's Racing Center trainee. And as Mattel keeps releasing more and more, I find it more and more difficult to have things to say about them. Now, I don't really have anything against the Rusty's Racing Center trainees. It's just that Mattel releases so many of them. And I'm just kind of disappointed with Jay here. Up first, he's another trainee with blue accents. I feel like every other trainee that comes out has blue accents. I will say though, Jay is probably my favorite in terms of the shade of blue used for the accent color. I really like that dark blue. I think it's a very nice color. But Mattel, please stop with the blue ones. Um, just add a bit more variety in accent color, please. Another thing is the fact that Jay could have been the most unique Rusty's Racing Center trainee. He and Ernesto, Ernesto was released around the same time as him, uh, in the movie, both have these virtual reality headsets on, and it's a shame that they weren't included with their die casts. I would have loved to have seen them in a two-pack with the VR headsets. Heck, you could have even just thrown them into like the funny flashback series if you really wanted to, just like they did with Kurt with Bug Teeth. But unfortunately, we got Jay and Ernesto without the headsets, which, I mean, I, I get why they would do that. Number one, it's cheaper to not mold the whole virtual reality headset onto them. And also in the movie, the headsets like lower from the ceiling there's like a pole connecting them to the cars um but still you could have just included the vr headsets without that whole pole i'm just a little bit disappointed with jay here this is jay and ernesto definitely could have been probably the coolest racing center trainees but they just went down the route of making them normal ones anyway guys welcome back to yet another review today we're going to be taking a look at jay from the rusty's racing center series so let's get started. Of course, he's got pretty standard artwork there. We've got the number 94 on his side. Uh, on the back, we have the description. The new Rusty's Racing Center features the latest in racer training technology. We've got Sterling and Rusty and Dusty, Jay Cruz with headset, and Rusty's Racing Center McQueen. I got confused because I thought that Cruz with headset and Metallic Cal were 2019 releases, but they are considered 2020 releases, so I should probably um, change that on my channel with my playlists. So here is Jay out of the package and he looks very sad. Do you know why he's sad? Because he wasn't given a virtual reality headset. I'm just kidding of course. Um, but it's nice to see a bit of facial expression variety. Most of the other Rusty's Racing Center trainees of the Danny Sorovez model have an open mouth so it's nice to get a bit of a difference with him even though the eye expression mixed with the determined frown used on the next gens of this model just makes Jay look really, really sad, um, which I just think is kind of funny. Once again, just got these blue accents on him, very dark blue, very unique shade of blue compared to the other ones. And again, a shade of blue that I actually do really like. As I said before, he's probably my favorite of the trainees to have blue accents. His training number is 94, got the blue spoiler there. On the back we have the number 94 once again, blue accents going along the back there as well. There is the other side, just basically identical, and there is his base. Really not all that much to say about this guy, although as I said earlier I do find him a bit disappointing because this die cast could have been great if they gave him the headset, but instead we just got another Rusty's Racing Center training. Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching, see you guys next time, bye now.